Hey everyone, it's Patrick here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can easily hire a virtual assistant, which is basically a person that can do, for example, product research. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to hire a virtual assistant. This person will do product research and I will show you how you can set up a system that will allow that virtual assistant to post listings on your Facebook marketplace account. I will show you how to set up this system using program called AutoDS, which I talked about in my previous video and, and how you your virtual assistant can use AutoDS to do product research for you and post items on your Facebook Marketplace account. This system doesn't require a VPN. This system doesn't require remote access to your computer. So, you know, Facebook will not ban you for using a virtual assistant. The system doesn't require giving any credentials to, to your virtual assistant, to your Facebook account. So they will not have access to your Facebook. They will not read your messages. They will not, you know, get in trouble. I think it's a very cool way to do it. There's a quick disclaimer here. It's not fully automated because we don't have a full automation with Facebook yet, but it's semi-automated. So there's a little bit of work that you need to do. And I'll explain what the work is. But in general, this will speed up your process of finding items. Just hire someone from the Philippines, from other countries. They will find products for you and you just use the auto ideas to list them and get the hard part done. Without the further ado, let me start the video because I feel like I'm losing my thoughts here. So if you don't know, product research is a very time consuming and kind of annoying process. It takes a lot of time and effort to do it. So I feel like this, this method that I'm going to show you, it's going to help you a lot, especially if you want to cut time on product research and focus on like fulfilling orders and basically collecting money because that's the most exciting part about this. So here are the steps. First, you will need to find a virtual assistant, right? So there are a few ways to do it. You can go on websites that allow you to find virtual assistants. One of them is this like called philippinesworks.com. I probably misspelled the, the website URL, but I'm gonna leave it right here. So you're gonna have the direct link to it and you can just click on it. This is basically a website that you can find people in Philippines to do eBay dropshipping or Facebook marketplace dropshipping for you. There's also Upwork that you can do there's Upwork is basically a website for freelancers but it's kind of expensive so because I'm very lazy I'm gonna go with something very easy to do I'm gonna go with Fiverr so Fiverr is I don't know I feel like a lot of people know what Fiverr is but Fiverr is basically a website it's kind of like Upwork too it's for for freelancers but it's just less expensive and you can find people that will do anything on Fiverr like literally anything there are copywriters there are bloggers website builders whatever but there are also eBay and Facebook market place dropshippers and that's what I did. I typed in Facebook dropshipping on Fiverr and I found few listings and I found this guy. This guy actually didn't advertise for Facebook marketplace dropshipping but he was advertising for eBay dropshipping which is kind of the same thing and I asked him if he would be willing to do the Facebook marketplace dropshipping for me and he said sure. He never done it but he's familiar with the AutoDS software. That's why I picked him because I wanted to work with someone that already knows the software that I'm using. So he knows how the software works. He just never done it for Facebook but he said that he's willing to learn so I purchased the package that he offered to me I spent about $70 for 100 listings and then I recorded myself showing him how to use the AutoDS software for Facebook marketplace and that's actually the next step that I'm gonna talk about so the next step would be getting the AutoDS software but AutoDS software is basically a platform that allows you to manage your listings and they have multiple programs one is for eBay one is for Shopify and one is for Facebook marketplace I use the one for eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is, is possible through AutoDS. You can upload items to AutoDS and it will track your items. If there are any items out of stock, if there is any price change and the way it does it, it doesn't automatically upload it and change the price on, on the Facebook Marketplace just like it does on eBay. However, it sends you an email saying, hey, there's a price change. Hey, there's an item out of stock. So you get an email or a notification and you can go on Facebook Marketplace and manage update your listings. What I want to do now is I want to show you how I set up my AutoDS account for my virtual assistant so he can list items for me and then I'll go back and publish them to my Facebook marketplace store with the extension that AutoDS has. If this sounds complicated don't worry I'm gonna break it down in the video in a moment 
just stay with me. I'm gonna set up my computer and I'm gonna record myself and I'm gonna show you how to do all of these things. All right, so the first step that you would need to do is to click on my affiliate link in under this video that will take you to AutoDS and it will allow you to create an account on AutoDS. I know it's a selfish promotion, but I got a special deal with the CEO of this company. Basically, he agreed to anyone who will use my link to have a whole month for $1. Usually they do 14 days or I believe seven days for $1, but because we are special, he likes me, he allowed me to do uh, the whole month for $1. All right, so that's that. Once you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an account, you know, fill out the emails, etc. I already did that, so let me show you how does the dashboard look like and what you need to do. So once you got in, this is the dashboard. This is what you're gonna see, okay? There are a few things that you need to established before you start doing anything with the virtual assistant, etc. So the first thing you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna establish your default settings, right? So for example, establish the default amount of the quantity of the items that you wanna put on Facebook Marketplace. I, by default, put five. Uh, I changed the city to Los Angeles because I'm located in Los Angeles and I wanna list items like they're coming from my city, my, my hometown. Uh, the rest don't really wor worry about it, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Next thing is to create a template. I suggest creating a template that when I have, like like this one right here, it's it's very simple. It's just title, description, item specifics, product dimensions, and, I, and then I add this section that says I only ship to lower 48 states. That way, whenever someone orders something from like Hawaii or Puerto Rico, I tell them that I don't ship there because Walmart doesn't ship to those states. Hawaii, Alaska, or Puerto Rico. Uh, so my supplier is basically not providing uh, service to the states. So what you're gonna do is on a, on a click on the uh, plus button right here, and then you're gonna name the template. So let's say default test. I'm just gonna name it test because you know, it's a new one. I'm gonna edit it. It's a blank template. So the template is basically you telling the system which information you wanna transfer in the description tab when they import items from Facebook. So I for sure wanna title, right? And then I want the description of the item. And then if there are any specifications like the size or the color, etc., I want to import that too. So I'm going to click on the item specifics and any dimensions, because if it's like a bed, for example, you want to mention the dimensions too. So the system will go on walmart.com, copy the dimensions directly from walmart.com and put them in the template. So that's what I'm going to do. So product dimensions. All right, we got all the good stuff. And then I'm gonna add that sentence that I added before about the lower 48 states. So I have it saved up. I'm just gonna copy and paste it here. All right, so I have the sentence. I have my template ready. What I'm gonna do is next is gonna click update. Okay, next thing you wanna do is to set up the pricing strategy and you can do pricing and you can establish this by going to store settings and then pricing right here. So uh, I don't remember what are default settings, but this is what I have set up. It's not really accurate because the fees on Facebook are only 5%. So to do something more accurate, I'm gonna uh, change it to what is currently on Facebook Marketplace. So the fees on Facebook Marketplace are currently 5%. That's how much Facebook is taking for every time you get a sale. And then additional profit, I'm gonna put, let's, let's put 23%. All right. So I have this established. I'm gonna click save. So I have my set basic settings set up, okay? I have my price set up, I have my template picked, and I have the, the minimum quantity and the city set up. That's, that's the, mess, the most important step that I'm gonna do in the settings section. Now I'm gonna go to VA section. So now I'm gonna show you how you can create a VA account. So to create a VA account, you're gonna go to users and you're gonna click on the add new user. I already have one, so, uh, I don't have to do it, but I'm gonna show you how it, what, what is process look like. So you're gonna click on add user. And, and once you get to the add user section, what you have to do is you have to put the name of the user. So you can just, so what you can do is you can literally just call it virtual assistant account. And then you have to put an email and the password for that person. Personally, you don't have to get the VA email address in order to put this you can put any email address i suggest using one of your email addresses so you can have access to the account 
you know, when, when something goes down, when the VA starts doing some crazy stuff. Lastly, this is the most important part. Decide what you, you the VA can do. Uh, do you want to see them? Do you want to have them able to see your dashboard? Like how much money are you making? I personally use these settings below that I'm going to show you in a minute. You can follow and do the same thing. Basically, I gave them access to edit everything, but I don't want them to see if I'm making any sales, messed up my orders and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give them permissions to edit my products and list products, but I, I don't want them to see any financial stuff. All right, so I basically picked everything besides view dashboard. They are not able to see this dashboard. So after that, just click add user and this will create an account. So I logged out from my admin account, the, the one I manage as, an, as a dropshipper and logged into my virtual assistant account. So this is what they see. You see, they, they don't have the dashboard that I have. The only thing they can see is the product section and the drafts, okay? The reason being why I logged, logged into my virtual assistant account because I want to show you what they can do for you and then we're going to go back to my account again and I'm going to show you what you need to do on your end. So I hired a guy on Fiverr to do the product research for me, right? So he will find items on walmart.com and he will list them here. Once he lists them here, they will appear in a draft and after they appear in a draft, you can go and publish them on Facebook Marketplace yourself. Again, you have to do it because there's no way around it. I feel like all of this will start making sense if I show you the process. So let's assume I'm a virtual assistant, right? And I'm going to find an item. So let's go on walmart.com and find a random item. All right, I'm going to pick this toy right here, okay? So I'm going to copy the link. Again, I'm a virtual assistant right now. And I'm going to go to Add Products. I'm going to paste the link right here and then the, the system automatically picked up that this is Walmart and click next. Now it's going to ask me if I want to put any tags. So this, this those are the Facebook tags, you know, the one that you put in marketplace. So just put whatever you want. After that, you're going to go to pricing. I already have it set it up. City, set it up. And then tell him to do it, post it as a draft or add a draft and click next. So now I got the message that it's being uploaded. And in a minute, it's going to show up here. You can track the progress by clicking here and on the view details and it will show you uh, what's happening right now. All right, so I have my toy right here. It show up right here. And this is where they added the draft. So this is where they can edit the title. A description if there is anything wrong with the description they can remove stuff or add stuff and then images this is where you pick what images you want to use or delete you can rotate them as well you can also download them on your computer if you want if you want to add some branding etc and then you can upload them again again here um, I'm just gonna remove some images because I don't want to use all of them so let's just use these for example okay and click save and import so now this this item will get imported into your product section it might take a little bit it's it's not instantaneous so it's gonna take a little bit and again you can track the what's happening right here so let's give it a minute and i'm gonna refresh and my item is showing up right here in the product section so this is your inventory this is where you can track all of your items think about it as a, like a google spreadsheet where you can track all your listings if you click on this, for example, it's going to take you directly to the supplier website. This one will take you to Facebook, but we have to add this to Facebook first. So this is where your virtual assistant jobs ends. They do all of this. So they upload it to your spreadsheet that tracks all your inventory. Now your job is to upload it on your Facebook. So you can actually have this item online on your marketplace. Again, there's there's no full automation yet. There's no other way around it at the moment. So the virtual assistant cannot do the, the whole job for you, but they can get you to this point. And after this point, you can use the Chrome extension that I'm going to show you. And the Chrome extension will pull up these listings and automatically list them on Facebook Marketplace. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm back to my admin account. As you can see, I, I can see dashboard and I'm back to the product page and I see this item that my virtual assistant listed for me. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Facebook account and open up the, the new listing tab. Before you do that, make sure to download this extension called AutoDS Helper. I'm gonna leave a link for it. Extension downloaded in order for this to work. So I already have it, it's set up correctly. So now I'm just gonna click on create a new listing on Facebook. All right, so I'm on Facebook. I'm gonna click item for sale. And right now I have this button here that says paste from AutoDS. So now I have to go back to AutoDS, click on the item, and then click on edit, and go to section where it says variant right here. So once you're in the variant section, click on those two squares right here. They will allow you to copy your listing. So I'm gonna click copy, go back here, and click paste from AutoDS. Okay, so my information are still auto-populating. As you can see, the images are, are coming up. Um, I'm still missing the description and the categories, etc. So let's give it a minute until it's all done. All right, so my listing is ready. So all I have to do is, oh, I see it didn't catch the quantity. Um, I need to double check on that. But basically that will be the process. So that the virtual assistant posts items on your products then you go to products then you go to edit variant copy go back here paste it and everything is captured through this uh, extension that allows you to do the copy and paste process that will be it for today if you find this information valuable please leave a like it helps the algorithm also subscribe to my channel to you know stay tuned on any Facebook and eBay dropshipping stuff. Also join our group called The Way of the Entrepreneur. I just got the merch, so I wanted to dress up and record this ending so you can see the merch. Um, it's basically a group that we talk about dropshipping, side hustles, etc. I'm trying to grow it. I'm trying to build like a community of other online internetpreneurs so go ahead and join us ask a question over there don't forget about the 30 days for one dollar from AutoDS. link is in the description below and also i want to promote a dropshipping course that i use in the past for facebook and ebay this is where i learn everything that i know or at least most of it the course is created by a guy named paul jelipsky he's like a biggest ebay slash facebook marketplace dropshipper on the internet so i took his course and I promote his course. The link is also for that in the description. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. I hope you find this very useful. And I will see you in the next one, okay?